down here, I was re-watching the series, and I just got to the episode when uh, Barry the Chopper was number 66, I believe it was. Yes. Um, yeah. And I was curious, because I both laughed and was creeped out by his character. Success. That's also about Jerry. <laughs> now, I'm wondering, Jerry, what did you do to get into that character? How did you channel oh, a, no. a slicing murderer <laughs> turned into a suit of armor? Well, um, I, well, I killed people before I came into the court. Um, yeah. I, no, I raped them with a knife, just full on, sliced them up. Oh my god, Jerry! No, I did, I did, it's true. Don't say that! I'm an actor. Oh my gosh! Uh, I'm not really. My mind uh, feels violated. Well, see... That's not what feels violated at all. It wasn't their mind that felt violated, but... <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, friendly. No, uh, um, see, I, I don't, I, I never looked at the character as, as, uh, as all that creepy. In the first one, he's creepy, but only for a short period of time. And that's why he's a good character, is because I didn't even have to go in very often or do anything. Um, but, but that one scene in the butcher shop, he's creepy as hell. And then everything else is comic relief. That's true. And but whenever someone says Barry the Chopper, they go, "Ooh, creepy!" And it's like, "Wow, hey, I had a really good couple minutes thanks to Mike McFarland." Yay! That's a two-part question, and I'm sorry that this one isn't a Full Metal Alchemist question. Um, I'm wondering, did you then channel your Barry into Russia for Hitalia? Uh, no. the Russian. <laughs> No? Okay. <laughs> so in Russia, kind of there is no Barry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. You're very welcome. And um, I'm uh, passing out Grizzable Ranger cards for anyone yeah. who wants any. Yay, hey, thank you. That's for this umbrella. <laughs> That's bad luck, right? <laughs> That is just bad luck on all the rangers. How do you feel about that? I, um, it's only bad luck if you didn't ask the umbrella permission to open it indoors, and I did. <laughs> Good point. Good point. Hello. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, nice day. Okay, there's a question for you. Awesome. And a prize to be won. Name the, t the full names, first and last names, of the other brothers Elric. Don't help her. I know it. I know it. I know it. These Fill your mind with filler. <laughs> I didn't really watch that one back then. Aww. Aww. Sad. Sad. Ask her another question. It. She's cute. I know it. I know it. I know it. Now, what do we do if they don't know? Do we ask somebody else? Or you know we... what? I'm going to have Rich uh, tell us that. Rich versus Rich. <laughs> Rich versus Rich. 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 Okay. Um, you don't know? I mean, there has to be a reason. Okay, do you not, I'm sorry, do you not know the, the answer? Uh, I don't know the answer. Okay, uh, we want to give away prizes, so let's yeah. make sure and give away a prize. Hands down, if you know the answer, Thumbs up, seven up. raise your hand when I... <laughs> disqualify, disqualify. Oh, the next person in line who knows. You want to yeah. do that? Yeah, the next person in line that knows the answer. Does she, do you, you, get to, you can still ask her yeah, questions, though, question. but does the next person sure. in line know the answer? I do. Okay, okay. Wendy, step up to the mic. Who were the other brothers, Elric? Russell and Fletcher Trigham. Yay! Yes! Yeah. Russell and Fletcher Trigham. Trick for you. Russell and Fletcher Trigham Willingham. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I was wondering in your character's voice what your character would react or say if they found out you voice acted them. Oh, that's right. Oh. Yeah, what would your character say if they found out that you were their, you were their voice actor? That's a wiggy question. Wow, you're big. Like, I'm, I'm the... like on the fourth level right now. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> I would be like, oh, cool. My guy's in charge. Awesome. I think uh, if Gluttony found out that I voiced Gluttony, he would say, <laughs> You're as hungry as me. <laughs> I think uh, Hawkeye would say, you're way too nice to your dog. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Minds have been broken. I can't process this. I need more coffee. <laughs> I think Mustang would say, uh, miniskirts? <laughs> sure. Sweet. <laughs> Oh, why do I sound so awesome? <laughs> why am I amazing? <laughs> That's so clever! <laughs> Ed would probably say, You are nowhere near cool enough to voice me. <laughs> Wendy, what would Envy say? I'm just thinking about lung capacity. Envy would go like, you know you can't flip like this. You know it! <laughs> no way. Stop smoking. <laughs> it's hurting us. <laughs> You're killing us. You're killing us. You're killing us. <laughs> Do we all <laughs> Perfect. We're both empty inside. <laughs> than you think it's going to be with Jerry. <laughs> Come on! Wait a minute, so I'm dating Mustang? <laughs> double date, right, Laura? What? We could double date, right? Totally. <laughs> that would be hot. <laughs> Okay, I have a question for Vic. If um, Ed walked into the Iran High School host club oh, and talked to no. him and he thought he was a small girl, what would happen? <laughs> Kamaki would probably try to get Ed and Honey to fight for the boy Lolita uh, spot in the host club. That's what he did. You wouldn't hit on him, though. <laughs> wouldn't do that. Okay, and before I go, Red Dawn. Absolutely! Yeah! Yay! Yeah! Next question. Um, I was just wondering, you said we couldn't have anything signed or call anybody, but do hugs count? What? A what? Do hugs count? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Take a question, please. Oh! Oh! I guess that's you. You're Alright. It's question time. Yeah. Throw me that dart. <laughs> I want to hold on to that sucker. <laughs> Uh, okay, trivia question. Um, I'll, I'll keep these easy as well. Um, name the complete number of episodes for the first series and the complete number of episodes for the second series. Uh, I don't remember the full list of episodes for Brotherhood, but I do know that there was 52 for the original series. You can't have half a DVD. Yeah, that's half the answer. Break it in half and give it to you. You should take a guess. Uh, 61? Eh. No. Uh, Alright, next person in line, do you know? Is it 64? Yes. Yes! Alright! We'll break Sorry. it in half. You can have... Oh, really? Can we split the CD? Yeah, totally. Yes. We'll give it to Where's the friends? Oh. Memo on the same page. We should discover it. What they are. It's the only one I've known so far. We should just do two. Can we do two? Oh! 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 Oh!
<laughs> Ask my question, it's for oh. everybody in the <laughs> chat, Vic, because I already asked him this last night. What? This question's for everybody but Vic, because I already asked him last night. Okay. Um, I'm from the publishing company Destiny Studios for the magazine Otaku Soup. I was wondering if any of you would be willing to do an interview for our magazine at a later date over the internet? <laughs> I like the internet. <laughs> and if so, um, I have a uh, book that I carry all the information to for like email addresses so I can sit, start the interviews on. Oh. And I have cards that way you can remember me. <laughs> you should uh, probably email us. And again, yeah. with any questions regarding like interviews or any of that stuff that we can't do right now, just email us or get us after well, the Well, can you guys my like cards that. so that way you can remember who I am? Yeah! Come yeah. on up here. getting into char a certain character because it's opposite of you. Like with Vic, he's really religious and Ed is an atheist. So is <laughs> an atheist? <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, have you guys ever come upon that with any of well, the characters? I don't know about everyone else, but I know for me, it's a lot more fun to play someone who's completely opposite of you because then you get to do that. Mm -hmm. So if you have like, you know, if you're a nice, cool, easygoing person, and you get cast as a psychopathic serial killer. That's fun. <laughs> that's actually, that's actually like, that's a lot more fun than being someone who's close to you, you know? Uh, and I really dig having some lung capacity, so that works out too. <laughs> actually, I just want to say, that's why it's called acting. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're, we're voice actors because we're playing characters that are not us, you know? It would be pretty boring if we just played us all the time. Yeah. So like Mike said, it's, it's, a real, it's a real fun thing as an actor to play something that is not like you. That's, that's where the acting part comes in. So. It's also why reality TV is boring. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh -oh. <laughs> All right, you ready? Can I bring it down? Can I bring the disc down? Yes, you sure may, Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> It's a two-part question. <laughs> what is the date inside the pocket watch, and what does it mean? Oh my God. Oh. Oh. Is it October? I'm having a hard time deciding between two dates. Can you narrow it down to the month? October? That's correct. And what did the date signify? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Pretty. Here's a hint. <laughs> the hint is it's not Halloween. <laughs> oh. oh God! Is For those of you in the back who can't see, it's actually a little tiny kitten talking. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm a bunny. <laughs> I think it's. Is it the day that Al lost his body, or, or the his mom died? No. 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 You're you're warm. I wish. I wish. Would you, like, would you like to ask a friend, since you're halfway there? You're warm, you need to get a lot warmer, like fire. And what is your answer? They destroyed a house? It's the day they burned down their house and left, that's right. Yay! Yeah! Get it for the prizes! I'm not going to take your kidneys. Those are full of drugs. <laughs> <laughs> 